Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Hello, hello everybody and welcome, welcome to today's class. This is YouTube class number 544 and it is, ha, ah, it's so good. If you're not familiar with who I am, hi, I'm Stacy Park. I'm the owner of Scrapbooking Made Simple. I'm also a licensed designer for Sizzix and Jacquard. Today, today is all about pretty things. I bring you a full length commercial free technique based class every Saturday morning featuring your most favorite manufacturers and then throwing in technique after technique that maybe you didn't know about or you've never seen before or maybe you forgot about and oh, that sparks your imagination and your creativity. But most importantly, we have this time together just to spend. And if you're joining me during my premieres, which are 8 a.m. sunny California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern every Saturday, there's a live chat happening over here. Hello. <laughs> now I'm getting ready to drive to Lake Forest on Sunday. I'm teaching a two hour Zoom class to retailers for Sizzix in an event called Craftex. It's for retailers only and it's sponsored through Ecstasy Crafts. They're a distributor. So today is, today is Saturday. We're doing this and then I've got to go back to the store, pack all my stuff, and then tomorrow, Sunday, I drive down for my class on Monday. But I will be back in time for my Make It Monday live chat, I promise. Even if I have to pull over and do it from the car. <laughs> now today is also a really big day. I have oodles of winner winner chicken dinner to tell you about. I was gone traveling in the UK for a little bit so I missed a couple winner winner chicken dinners but I'm back now and I have them all. There's a whole list of people who have won because we hit 800,000 subscribers. And frankly, by now, we're getting, we're, we're past the 850,000 mark. We're heading towards 900,000 subscribers. So whenever we get to a plateau of 100,000, so 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, all the way up to a million, every time we hit a new plateau for subscribers, we were giving away in hundreds of dollars that amount. So. When we hit 500,000 subscribers, we gave away $500 in gift cards. We just hit 800,000 subscribers, so we're giving away $800 worth of gift cards. Now, when we get to the million subscribers, we'll do $1,000 in gift cards, but then we tap out. I'm done. <laughs> we go back to our $25 every week regardless of how, although I suppose if I get to 5 million, we'll have to talk. I suppose there's some wiggle room in there. <laughs> but we did hit 800,000 and it, it, it was happening while I was, was away in the United Kingdom visiting Hobby Maker and Craft Stash and Sizzix HQ. So I have a long list. Now the rule about this is I don't decide how many people win. Nope. I learned my lesson. I gave that up a long time ago. So when we do something like this where there's multiple winners, we allow you to decide how many people are going to win and that's what you had to post in your comments. You had to decide, did you want one person to win all $800? Did you want two people to win $400? Did you want, was it two people? Yeah, two people to win $400, four people to win $200 and when you posted your comment, it got approved. We have a random generator software, pick the winner, and whatever that winner picked is what we did. So if somebody picked one winner for $800, they would have won all $800 of the gift card. If somebody said two for $400, they would have won $400, and then we would have randomly selected one more winner winner. This time, this time we have eight. So the random generator picked somebody who said eight people for $100. That's a pretty whopping wahoo-kachoo gift card, right? 
But then I feel badly because then I have winners from last week, which was 543, which was Parkside Crafts. James Park is the designer of Parkside Crafts. He is a licensed designer for Couture Creations, and it was his second collection, and it was darling, and it you guys loved it. Thank you so much. It is available in multiple places, so if we are sold out of anything, it is not exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. It is a global collection where you can find it all over the world. So Parkside Crafts was last week. But last week we went back to just $25 gift cards. So I think I'm going to announce them first. <laughs> just because, just because I feel badly that they're not one of the $100 winners. But you know what? $25 is $25. So the winners from 543, YouTube 543, Parkside Crafts is back with new dyes, stamps, and stencils. And we did it with the watercolor pencils. Our first winner winner is Laura Martin. Hello, Laura. You've got $25 coming your way. Wahoo, could you? But of course you're not alone. We always have two winners, typically for a normal Saturday. Our second winner winner is Natalie. Natalie Mercier. Is it Mercier? Mercier? Natalie, I don't know how to do it, but it's good. You win. Congra congratulations, Natalie. That'll cover shipping, <laughs> which is something. Natalie is not in the United States, and shipping to her can be quite expensive. But hey, if the shipping's covered, wahoo kachoo, congratulations to you. So you two lucky peeps already have a $25 gift card in your online account to spend any way you want. Now to go back to YouTube number 542 which was my inks with the Elizabeth Crafts dies and, and the, the kits, and those are getting ready to ship. So I have eight people who have won $100. Oh, all right, our first winner winner is Diane Z Zavolis. Diane Zavolis, BJ Clark, hello BJ Clark, Barbara Tanui, Barbara Tanui, is that close? Tanoi? Tanoi? You'll tell me, but it, Barbara, you're going to love me anyway because, well, frankly, you just won $100. I mean, <laughs> even, if, even, if you, even if you're like, that girl annoys me, but at this point, I don't annoy you because I just gave you $100. <laughs> that goes for everybody. <laughs> James, Kathy, McFarlane, maybe James Kathy. I wonder if that's husband and wife or, or borrowing a kid's YouTube name. Um, even even if, if you're like, oh, I, she, she just needs to get on with the demo. Well, James Kathy McFarlane, you just won a $100 gift card from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Then we have Deborah Levance. Hello, Deborah. Susan Jansen. Hi, Susan. Bonnie Dixon. Wahoo, kachoo and Luella Stevens. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of people and that's a lot of money. That's $100 to each of you. So our $25 gift card winners were Laura Martin and Natalie Mercier. Mercier? You'll forgive me. And then our $100 winners, Diane Zavolis, BJ Clark, Barbara Tanoi. Tanoi? You'll forgive me. James Kathy McFarlane, Deborah Levance, Susan Jansen, Bonnie Dixon, and Luella Stevens. Congratulations, all of you. You have won $100. It is already in your online account. Congratulations. And even if even if I annoy the bejeebies out of you, you can't be mad at me now. $100 is $100. And then for the other two, congratulations on your $25. So... We have to do our winner, winner, chicken dinner dance. And my goodness, if you've won, you really need to sit up straight. I mean, I really want to hear it. <laughs> Are you ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Congratulations to all of you. I hope you enjoy your winnings and spend them on something that makes your heart happy. It makes my heart happy to be able to do this for you. And well, we're all one big happy family here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. So make something lovely and pass it on or maybe even use it for some of your Christmas shopping for your friends. Who knows what you're going to spend it on, but gosh, free is free. 
<laughs> okay, so I've got a lot to do today. I, I, I have just... I've just got so much on my plate right now. We leave for Creativation in just a few weeks, two weeks to be exact. I have my own tiny little booth at Creativation. I'm not selling anything. It's just like my own little demo booth because Sizzix is not gonna have their own booth this year. And so I thought, hmm, I want my, I want space. <laughs> After Germany being in this much space, I like, I need more space. I mean, our little tables were darling at Germany at Creative World, but they were really this big. And I'm like, I'm this big. Hello. <laughs> so we took a little booth right next to the Notions Marketing booth. So we'll be right next to where Sizzix is gonna be. And I will have my Sizzix product there. I'll be demoing with my Jacquard inks and I'll be demoing with something that you are going to see in this week's Take Two Tuesday that hasn't launched yet. In fact, the press release is going out soon. <laughs> All right, so for today, today I have got creative expressions for you. I have four beautiful new stamps, rubber stamps, lovely. I'm gonna be showing you three ways to use them from inks to kind of a wet medium to Pearl X from Jacquard. Pearl X is beautiful. It's 100% pigment, no gum Arabic. Nope, it's 100% pigment, and I'm gonna show you how to use them today. Value pricing on that, on those, those Jacquard Pearl X. They're kind of like a Perfect Pearl from Ranger. The difference is Ranger's Perfect Pearl has already been cut with gum Arabic, and that's the binder that makes it set so it doesn't wipe off. Pearl X is 100% pigment, and you add your own gum Arabic to it, but I'll show you that. And what it does is that means what you are buying is 100% pure shimmery goodness. And then you add a little bit of gum Arabic into it and mix it so, but it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna tilt down down. I'm gonna show you a couple samples and then we're gonna get started for today. We're gonna start off easy, easy, and then not hard, but just a little bit more in depth. Are you ready? Me too. <laughs> I'm not ready for Monday. I have a two that two. I have a two hour class, so I'm hoping I'm hoping I do okay. This is all new for me. It will be live, live. I already did live TV, and that was that gave my my knees were knocking. I don't know if any of you could see it, but my knees were knocking when they said three, two. <laughs> I'm like. Let's tilt down. Let's get started for today. Ready? Go. Look at, wait a minute. You just have to, wait a minute. You have to appreciate this. Look at how lovely this is. Look at how organized it is. Wait, <laughs> just give me an hour. <laughs> It'll be a crafty mess. It'll be a happy mess, but definitely a crafty mess. All right. I think we're good there. What do you think? Okay, so samples. Let me just show you a few. Isn't that beautiful? This is a background stamp from Creative Expressions. It is Sizzix paper and it is perfect per. No, it is Pearl X. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Pearl X from Jacquard. Pearl X. Here we go. Here's another one. Again, Background from Creative Expressions, Pearl X from Jacquard. Beautiful paper from Sizzix. Isn't that so pretty? And then my last one. Stamp from Creative Expressions, Pearl X from Jacquard. Yum. But we are going to start at the very beginning because it's a very good place to start. And I think I'm going to take, hmm, I've got four stamps to choose from and I just don't know which one I wanna do. I'm gonna start with just some ink. And we're just gonna ink them um, up. I think maybe I'll start with this one. And the first thing I wanna do 
is I'm going to play with my Jacquard Premium dye based inks. So I've chosen four inks for today. I've got Wasabi, I've got uh, Yellow Curry, I've got Red Delicious, and I've got Orange Pop. Not sure if I'll use all four of them, but these are the inks that I'm using today. I do have 12 inks with Jacquard and 12 reinkers. The next collection of inks to come out, because obviously I, I will be expanding the collection, will be July. So I think we'll have four more colors coming out in July for you. So 12 colors right now, and these were the four I selected for today. I'm not going to be using my stencil and stamp tool today. I'm going to be going back and using a regular block and my gush pads. So gush pads have landed. I expect them to be here inside a week and then we will put them up for sale. A gush pad is something you use when you are stamping and it gives your it gives your stamp a little something to gush into. It is not a, a mouse pad. No, it's thicker than that. It's not fun foam. It's thicker than that. The gush pad is, it's actually very specific, the density of the gush pad. It's it's very, very specific so that when you press down, your paper makes a really good contact with the stamp. So I am using a stamp block today and I've got my stamp. It is a cling stamp, so it clings right to it. And if for any reason your stamp stops clinging, that's maybe because your block is dirty or your stamp is dirty. You know, the, the oils from our fingers get on it, it happens. So if for some reason your stamps stop to cling to your block or your stamp positioner, just give them a nice wipe down. And then once it's all dry, it will be good again and they will cling all over again. I'm gonna start super easy. And did you know, I did not know until this week, I had no clue until I did the Thursday event, our new for you Thursday, that Sizzix has smooth paper in white, cream, and black. I've always known it was in the white because we carry the white. Who knew they had super smooth in cream and in black? 60 pack, 20 of each color. I had absolutely zero idea that they made this. None. Crazy, right? I'm trying to see where it's a, yep, 80, so it's an 80 pound paper. It does feel heavier than 80 pound, I'm just gonna tell you. But 60 sheets, smooth, had no clue. It'll be up for sale, it's part of the, it's part of the new for you Sizzix event in a bundle and open stock, but we're also gonna use it here in this class. So I'm gonna take and cut some up and I'm going to bring over my stamp. And again, we're not using the stencil and stamp tool because I'm gonna do a couple different techniques that would not work well with that tool because I need to kind of dip into some stuff. So give a little press. Oh, let's get some of my ink off of this one. The stamp has been loved, it's loved. And I'm just gonna ink it all up. Let's get some of it. I'm gonna ink it all up. And the one I'm using is right here. Now we do have an I want it all on all four of the stamps from Creative Expressions. I'm gonna take my yellow curry and I'm just gonna do my whole stamp. Can you see how it's inking it up? I'm just gonna do my whole stamp. Then I'm gonna come in with my Red Delish. I should have named it Red Delish. It's named Red Delicious, but, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color here and a little bit of color there. And then I'm gonna come in with my Wasabi. And I'm gonna kind of go all the way around my edges with my Wasabi. Just kind of do all the way around, kind of frame it in. And once I'm good, I'm just gonna put my paper right on top and give a nice back rub. I 
I could turn it the other way and stamp into it, up to me. But a nice little back rub. And there I go. It's that easy. But I do have a little bit more ink left on this. So I can take my Turbo Mister and give it a little spritz. I think that's enough of a spritz. And take my paper and go right back on top of it again. And let's see what I've got. So very watercolory. Now both of those are absolutely beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful and I was able to do it from just one image. It's generational stamping is what they call it. Wipe it down and let's do it again. This time let's use the orange. So I always start with one color and I always do the entire stamp in that color. That way I'm sure every area is gonna ink up, that it'll transfer with ink. Then I could come in with some of my orange. I could even hit that with just a little bit of red if I wanted. And then my green all the way, frame it all the way around. It just frames everything in all nice and pretty. And then I could come in right on top. Nice little back rub. And there I go. And again, give it a little bit of a mist. And then come in and get that second generational print. And there I go. Now that one's a little light. I must have taken most of the ink off when I did this one. It's a little light. This one came out fabulous. But no harm, no foul. I can just turn it over if I'm not happy with that one. And I could come back in. Remember, I have my I have my super light watercolor there, but didn't quite come out, so I'm just going to use the back side. And we'll just do another print. That's pretty. I don't know if I have enough ink there. All we can do is try. So pretty standard. Lots of people do this. Not uncommon. Easy way to ink up a background stamp and stamp it. Again, I don't know that I have enough ink.
Ooh. Okay, I kind of like that too. Pretty. And then I can decide to mat them. Let's cut, you know what, let's cut this one out because this one's kind of pretty. It's very light. So I'm not using my stamp positioner, my stencil and stamp tool because I'm going to be doing a couple techniques where it doesn't really come in handy to do it, to use it. Having a block is better. I love this one. I think this one's beautiful. So I have two that are kind of watercolory, and then I'll grab one that was full strength, as they say. So three different ways we're going to do these stamps today. Oh, that one's pretty. And let's mat them and move on. Just so you can see what they would look like, all you would need to do is add a sentiment and call it done. All right, so I've got three there to play with. I'm going to take my stamp off, put it away, and let's see about some mats. Bring over my Sizzix paper. I've got my the everyday cardstock going on here. Kind of like that. And that looks pretty good. Ooh. But that looks really good too. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. Do I have anything in a red? Or that orange? Oh, I think I like it in the orange. Okay. Let's do some super quick matting. I'm going to grab some of that black cardstock that comes in the Super Smooth from Sizzix. I'm going to grab some of that black cardstock because I like to I like to double triple. I like matting. I can't tell you why. I think it just adds a little something something. It just with just paper, it really makes a difference. So I'm going to just tape these down super fast and get them done and then we're gonna move on but I want you to see how simple it is to put a card together you saw how fast and easy it was inking those up literally took two not even two minutes to put my stamp on the block ink it up and stamp with it it doesn't have to be more than that sometimes you're in a hurry sometimes it's like chop chop sometimes somebody tells you at the very last minute could you make a card? <laughs> sure, when do you need it? Now. Okay, one. Let's mat number two, and then we'll mat number three. And you can see I'm getting 
at least three out of each sheet of black paper. I'm using Stacy Tape double sided adhesive. go. So there's number two. I think the matting will take me longer than anything else. And my last one. So I could get four out of one sheet. I like that. I could get four cards toppers and four mats out of each sheet. And all I did was put a little bit of ink here and a little bit of ink there and away we went. And I could have done one more. I have one more mat left to go. I could have done one more. All right, so I think we said that one there. You would do a better job of taping down. Look at how that just finishes it. It's so pretty. If you are new to crafting, this is a great way to start. Pick up a couple inks, pick up a couple stamps, and you can start making beautiful things. It doesn't take, it doesn't take much. <laughs> I'd like to say talent is kind of optional because <laughs> I'm not crazy talented. I just like to play. I don't know. The green. I think that pops really nice. Maybe that on the orange. Or maybe that on the orange. And this here. Let's go with that. Is that what I said in the beginning? It probably is. <laughs> but I'm gonna have three cards in no time at all. And if I wasn't teaching, I'd be done. This is a great way to start for newbies. This is a great class to be able to do with friends, whether it be church group, youth group, scouts, because they just take the ink and they put it on the stamp and they stamp. Because it's that watercolory look, there's no right, there's no wrong. Add a couple mats to it, and all of a sudden, you have made magic. They have made magic, and you look like a rock star for helping them. You wanna you wanna get a new crafty buddy? 
have them do something as easy as this so that they feel so amazingly accomplished. They're like, I, I just did that? And you're like, yeah, you just did that. Okay, so there's one, two, and then let's do the last one. And then we will move on to the next technique. But I love how the black draws your eye in. It puts the focus around that stamped image. And Stacy tape. It's a double-sided adhesive. Super long. Super strong. and really very affordable. Girls are gonna to have to put sentiment, sentiments on these so we can use them. When we're all done with our samples, they go to either a senior center, a hospital, or the church, and the church will sell them to provide scholarships for kids who wanna to go to summer camp, to the church youth group summer camp and can't you know, they're struggling, their family's struggling just a little bit. Bam, done. Wahoo, ka -choo. Easy peasy. We are gonna change it up entirely. Totally different. I'm gonna play with some Hero Arts products. So I've got some of their, they're almost like a liquid pearl. It's all by Hero Arts. I've got five colors of them. They're on an I Want It All. We have them open stock as well, but the I Want It All is where the bundle is, where the value is, and I'm gonna take a different stamp. How about I take this one? Ooh. So let's get my block. And let's put this stamp on my block. and bring over my gush pad and let's get some white paper. The paper I'm using is Sizzix and it's A4. by the hair of a chinny chin chin, but that's all I need. And I'm going to bring over my, my blending mat from Woodware. So this blending mat is really the same size as this piece of paper. I've just cut it down to a couple different sizes, so it's more convenient for me. But it's by Woodware. It's super inexpensive. I want to say when it's on sale, it's four dollars and forty cents. I will try to remember to put it on the YouTube Yummies. If I don't, remind me, and I'll go take care of it. Now I'm going to take my my Hero Arts, and again, they're kind of like a liquid pearl, only Hero Arts quality. Give them a little bit of a shake, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to go straight onto this, my little blending mat. And I'm gonna kinda go a couple little Z, Z, Zs. Can you see how highly metallic that is? Now, if I let that dry, that's how it would dry. Very dimensional, it's beautiful. I'm gonna put in a little bit of my teal maybe, just a little bit, maybe more towards the bottom. And I'm gonna put in maybe a little bit of my pearl color. Scribble, scribble, scribble. See how I did that? Scribbles, look at how beautifully metallic that is. Wow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my paper down 
I'm going to put a little bit of mist on my on my stamp. Ready? A little bit of mist, just water. And then I'm going to go into my ink. Well, my pearls, my paste. And I'm going to ink, ink, ink. I think that looks good. And I'm going to go down, press one, two, three, and up. And in no time at all, oh, look what we did. <laughs> but I don't have to be done. <laughs> I can come back and ink, 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 ink. That looks pretty good. Give a little bit of a press. This is where that gush mat comes in really handy. And pull it up. Oh, I think I have a hair in there. I do. <laughs> Never mind that. And again, I am making impression after impression. If I need a little bit more gold, I add a little bit more gold. Just a little bit. Want a little bit more here? I add a little bit more there. Give my stamp just a little bit of a mist. Now I think that these are gonna be too small. Well, it's close. Go in there. And oh, there. <laughs> okay, let's get that out of there. I'm just inking up my my stamp with my with my pearl from hero one two three a b c and up and every time i do it i get that watercolory metallic -y, oh my goodnessy it's beautiful. Oh, I put it on top. Don't do that, Stacy. So because I've got it so thin, they dry super fast. Look at how easy was that? Right? Done. Now I could I could trim them out. Let me wipe off my my stamp. The Hero Arts Pearl Paint. I don't know what they call it. Um, Hero Hues, Hero Pearls, okay, it is water soluble. So your stamp will clean up, your fingers will clean up, your craft mat will clean up. It is water soluble. Oh, it would just, just. I can't. I got it. I got to use it. I'm going to put a little bit of maybe a little bit of black in there. And maybe a little bit of more teal. And maybe a little bit more gold. Just a little bit of mist. I'm just going to make a background. I'm sorry, I can't just let that be. I just made a background. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry, cause that's pretty. And then I can clean my stamp. And I can clean my 
my mat. Now if it dries, if it dries, you're going to have to kind of get in there and scrub just a little bit, but it's not going to be a big deal and it's not hard to come off. Just get it wet until it dissolves and then easy peasy. But will it work on black? Gosh, these are so pretty. And you saw how easy that was. Look at the metallic to it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to put those there for right now. Can I do it on black? Yeah. Let's do it on black. So let's grab some of my black paper. This thing, this time I'll leave it big. And let's do some squiggle, squiggle, squiggles. And some of my gold. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle and some of my teal and maybe even just a touch of silver. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to give my stamp a little bit of a mist I'm going to bring my paper on over. I've got it on top of my gush mat. I'm going to go in there. I'm just going to pick some color up and see what we get. Ready? One, two, three, up. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just using Hero Pearls. And we have them on sale. I only have those five colors. These are amazing. Hello, beautiful. So do you like it in the white? Do you like it in the black? And because it's thin, it dries super, super fast. Wowie kadowie. All right, I have this. Yum! What makes your heart happy? Are, are you, were you, so maybe you thought, oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. They're beautiful and they are so beautiful. But now, now I have these to play with and maybe you're looking at these going oh my gosh these are so beautiful they're so beautiful and they are but I'm not done so let's clean this up so I think I'm going to take a piece of black paper I love white and black paper I love making my own I love the options I get when I do that. Uh, probably don't need this much. Probably could have just not done.
Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I want a little more teal in here. I'm just picking this up to make a background. And I'm going to let that dry and I'll do something with it. Okay, so I got to put all my stuff together. So I've got this sample and these. Oh, they're so pretty. So maybe I'll take these two. Take this one and this one. Let's clean up my clean up my stamp. So stamp cleaned up, craft little craft mat, blending mat. Again, this is just a small portion of the size it is. I cut this down to size. All done with the Hero Pearls. And then I could come in here I don't think I'm gonna want any of those colors but let's see if I've got anything in here that makes my heart happy Ooh. You know, I could go back to this one I'm a creature of habit. I go to the same color every time. Hmm. What about here? I guess I could do it both on the same. Maybe this one. That would be pretty, huh? Oh, I bet that would be pretty. Okay, let's try that. So let's trim this on down. lovely is that you saw how fast and how easy that was that little took two seconds and then on there And 
then on kind of my vanilla. It's almost like a vanilla color. And I'm just using Sizzix paper today. One mat down. One mat to go. Oh my gosh, that's just so serene and beautiful. And it takes black paper to a whole new level. We all have black paper and we so, we use it for matting. I use black, pa black paper all the time for matting, but we so rarely use it to actually make our card fronts or our mini albums or our embellishments on our layouts and yet with the right tools it is so beautiful and this hero arts pearl is so easy to use i'm gonna have to ask if they have more colors <laughs> Talk about fast and fun and user friendly and in a crafty budget. I want to say the stamps are about ten dollars a stamp, and the pearls are maybe two ninety nine, three ninety nine a bottle. And you can do so much with them. How pretty is that? Look at that metallic shine going on. And I didn't use any pastes. I didn't use, I didn't stencil it. I literally scribble, scribble, scribbled with the pearl on top of my mat. I didn't even blend it. I then just stuck my stamp in there until it covered the whole thing and I made metallic magic. I won't do the white one right now. I'm gonna save, although it sure does look good. I wasn't going to do the white one, but now I might as well. Let's cut the bottom. Go zoop. Okay. This one I'm going to do on black. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but the girls can just then add some sentiments to it and we've got some more samples and some more things to give away later on once we're done with them. And it's a completely different look on white than it is on black. Yes, I know it's too long. That's okay. I'm just going to fold it right back in on itself. It's double sided tape and you can do that. I'm not going to bother to try and cut it. I'm just going to let it be. One mat done. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was so simple.
I'm going to have a dozen cards by the time I am finished with today's class. Now I could put these all together and I could make the cutest mini albums with them. I could put put them back to back and fold them into each other. I could have used the other piece that I already cut into. Stacy. All right. So two more samples done. This time using the Simple Hero Pearls. You saw how easy that was. One, two, three, A, B, C. White and black. But now we're going to go a little bit more. We're going to do a little bit more. We're oh, see, and look at the backgrounds. They're all dry. <gasps> Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. So, so far, I've done one, two, three. Then I changed up my medium and went to the Hero Pearls. And now, now we're going to get into the Pearl X. And Pearl X is a little different than maybe some of the things you're used to using. Take that stamp off and put it right there. And let's talk about Pearl X for just a little bit. So, let me raise this up just so we can say hello to each other. How you doing? Are you having a good time? I am. <laughs> so, Pearlex is a, a highly pigmented mica from Jacquard. There are many different types of powdered mica on the market, and they all do about the same thing. So, mica from your, your powders from perhaps Creative Expressions and Ranger and who else make Couture Creations make some they and Pearlex they're all based on the same idea of a pigmented mica powder that will go over beautiful things you can use it on on ceramics and on plastic and all. I mean it's just it, if you can get it to adhere down it will stay down where the difference lies is in how much gum arabic is put into the powder itself so it's almost like your you so with with let's say creative expressions or couture creations or ranger you get a jar of powder and it looks green, it is green, but half of it is pigment and the rest of it is gum arabic. And that is the binder that the powder needs so that when you mist it with some water, it sets. If you don't have any gum arabic in with the powder, you can do the most beautiful thing ever, but it will wipe right off because there's no binder in there. It's kind of like when you make meatballs. You need that, that binder, that egg, and, and maybe some breadcrumbs to hold all of it together. That's kind of like a mica powder. And then it depends upon how pigmented it is. So, because Jacquard is a fine art company, they're a little outside the crafty world, but their products play so well in our hobby, our paper crafting world, that for the fine art world, they don't buy their micas pre-mixed with gum arabic. They want that 100% pure pigment. They want that intense, what they want in that jar, 100% pigment, because that's what they're paying for. They don't wanna pay for the gum arabic. They don't want to pay for it. They will buy the gum arabic separately so that when they want to mix it, they can choose 
how much gum arabic to add and make their paste or their powder a little, you know, in a little pile separately so that they can either have it more pigmented and using a little less gum arabic or a lot of gum arabic and a little less powder pigment and it'll be a lighter shade. It gives them, more, not only that they can make blends, it gives them more control. And people in the fine art world, that's what they, they like to have that option. I mean, we in the paper crafting world, hello, we're all about the options, but we didn't know that it existed until we started looking at the fine art world and saying, hey, this product is amazing and it's 100% pigment and it's the same price as if I was getting something that was already mixed in with the gum arabic. So we've done Pearl X before and we have all the colors. Today I'm going to be working with the calligraphy kit. I have absolutely no idea why they call it the calligraphy kit. There must be something in the fine art world that makes this the calligraphy kit because I guess you can take it and with nibs you can use it. You get you you add your water, you add your gum arabic, you dip in and you can make the most beautiful beautiful the color is gorgeous. So I'm going to be using most of the colors from here today. But there are three other kits and then there's open stock this kit comes with three jars, I believe three jars of gum arabic. So you've got lots of it to use, but I also have a bigger jar of gum arabic for you if you want. It's very inexpensive gum arabic. It is much better to get all the pigment you can get and buy the gum arabic separately because you can get a big jar for maybe under $5. I think it's not very expensive at all, six bucks, but it'll go a long way. So. I wanted to kind of explain the difference between mica powders because there is a difference. It's kind of like watercolors. There is a difference in watercolor. You can use Van Gogh watercolors or you can use Crayola watercolors. They're not going to be the same. So before I started working with them, I wanted to give you the information so you knew ahead of time why we carry these. I carry them because they're the best quality I can get and yet the pricing is still affordable for us crafters. And when that's the case, you have to say yes. When you can get a better quality product for the same price, sign me up. So I'm going to tilt down and we're going to get started with this and I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to have an amazing time and Hopefully, maybe you take notes for some of this. Here's my pause face, so if you need to pause me to go get a pencil, there it is, I won't blink. Okay, you're back. <laughs> of course, you can always, if you need to jot down the YouTube number, whatever. All right, I'm gonna tilt on down and we're gonna get started again. People when you know, you they're like, I've never heard of Jacquard products. Well, neither had I until until I went to NAMTA. I had not heard of Jacquard products. And now I'm a licensed designer for them. <laughs> when when somebody comes and says, Hey, you know, we've got outstanding quality product, amazing quality. Would you be willing when you know are you would you wanna partner with us? It's hard to say no. All right, so I've got my perfect I keep my Pearl X. It's Pearl X. I've got my Pearl X in my little jars. And I guess they run about, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's a new price, an old price. There they are inside the container. All it is is 100% pigment in every color you can possibly imagine. And then. And you would think that these little jars are not going to last you a long time. The higher the pigment is of the product, the less you use, the longer it lasts. The lower pigment base of the product, the more you use to get an intense color and it doesn't last as long. 
And then I've got gum arabic. And these come inside the little kit that I showed you. You get three of them. And this is what you mix with your Perlex to make it have a binder. So let me show you. Mm, I think I'm going to get a little paintbrush just so I have it. Nope, not that one. Let's see, do I have a little paintbrush here? Just so I have one. That's a big paintbrush. Here we go. Little paintbrush. Oh, this one's even better. I think I'll use this one. So I've got my paintbrush here and my Pearl X here. I can tap out a little. I'd rather start with less than more because I can always add more in. And now if I get this wet, a little bit of water, it will make a beautiful paint. And if I add more into my mix, it will become more opaque. And a little goes a long way. So I can make this as pasty. See, now I've got it really pasty. In fact, that's almost too pasty to paint. So the more I add, the more solid that color will be. It's beautiful, right? But when it dries, there's no gum arabic in this. And I don't know if it's going to dry and then wipe off, or if it's going to dry and hold. I'm not sure what we're going to get. Let's take a little bit of the blue. And a little bit of water. And again, I'm not adding gum arabic yet. And I just make it into my powder, into my paste right on my little mat. And I can make it into a beautiful paint. Yep, it's wiping off. Okay, see? This is why I want to show you. So I've done two colors, but I didn't add any gum arabic to it. There's no binder and it's wiping off. That's a boo hoo. So once my blue is dry, I'll have the same problem. It will wipe right off because I didn't add that gum arabic. So, ooh, it's all over me. <laughs> so to make it work, you have to mix it with a little bit of gum arabic. So let me take this and wipe this down. If you are using a perfect pearl, 
that already has gum arabic mixed into it, you may have to mist it with just a little bit of water for that gum arabic to set if you're using it dry, if you're not getting it wet from the start. So let's take a little bit more. And this time let's open up a gum arabic. Nope. Yep. And a little bit of water. Let me get my blue out of here. See if my blue is dry yet. Yeah, see, that's not what we want. There's nothing there to bind it. A little bit of water. And now I start making my paste or my paint. And I'm mixing that gum arabic in, and I decided how much to use. And I decide how much water I want to use. Do I want this really thin, or do I want a thicker paste? I want it a little thinner. I add a little bit more water. And again, look at that gold. Look at that metallic. As it dries, that machine is going to come up and it's going to be beautiful. So when using it with water like this, you have to add that gum arabic. But in reality, you're getting more product because it's not pre-mixed with the gum arabic. You're actually getting more little bit and some water and mix it together. Now if this dries, my gold dries, all I have to do is add water to it again to reactivate it. Look at that color. Look at how beautiful that is. So let's let these dry and then let's see what happens. Let's let it dry for just a minute. In fact, it won't take but uh, probably enough time for me to wipe this down. And let's see. I think the gold is pretty. The gold is almost dry. Okay. It's not dry all the way, but close. Right there, it's still tacky. It's still sticky. But do you see the difference? 
that's not coming off on me. Not like this did. It's not moving. And it's not coming off on my finger. That's the difference of having that gum Arabic into it. But my color, I was able to control how much of the intensity of my color because I have the pigment. I own the pigment. It's not predetermined. Big difference, huge difference. Then when you don't use, look at that, it just turns right back. Look, it's turning right back into powder. Right back into powder. But not here. And it looks amazing on black. It looks good on white too, and maybe we'll do some white. Now, this is if you want to paint with it. You need the gum Arabic if you want to paint with it. And I could absolutely paint my paint my my stamps and have at it. But there's another way that's equally as easy. You want to see it? See, gum Arabic, important and inexpensive. Let's take another piece of black paper. You know, if Sizzix was a public company, I would probably invest in their stock with how much of their card stock I go through. <laughs> okay, so let's take and let's cut this down. And... I'm going to use an essentials glue pad. So an essentials glue pad. Mine is awful, it's ugly, but it works. Comes with this little cover to keep the, you know, as airtight as possible. When you get your glue pad, there is no glue on it. It is sold with this cute little bottle of glue. This is not a re-inker. You only put this on when you're working with the glue. When you get this at home, you don't undo this and put all of this onto the pad and then come back two months later and think that it's going to be okay. It won't. You only use as much glue as you need for the project that you're doing. And eventually it builds up glue. I mean, there's glue in there right now. But I just put a little bit of a Z on. And I kind of move it around just to kind of revive the glue that's in there. It is water soluble, so it's going to come off your hands and everything else. I'm going to bring one of my stamps over. Let's play with this one. And I'm going to bring my block. Now I'm going to glue up my stamp just as if I was doing uh, ink. Just like I was doing ink. I think that's pretty good. Put my little top on. And now I can either stamp down or I can do a back massage up to me. So stamp down, give nice all over pressure. And hopefully I've got it up. And you can see the image. Now I need to let this go tacky. So I'm gonna grab that other piece of black paper and I'm just going to add just a little bit more. I'm not going to add any more glue to it. I'm just going to re kind of ink it up. And this time I'll give a nice little back massage. Now 
The decision is yours how you want to stamp. And up. Now this image is a little bit lighter, but does that mean that it's not gonna work? This one was the first stamp, it was with all the glue on it. This is with my second, but does that mean it's not gonna work? Hmm. Now these do have to go tacky. So you either need to let it sit there for a few minutes or go make yourself a cup of coffee, or you can clean your stamp if you'd prefer. Now if you let the glue dry on it, is it gonna harm your stamp? No, it's water soluble. You can put a baby wipe to it at any time and it's going to be fine. So the stamp I'm using is right here. And now I come back. Let's give it a little bit of a waft. I need it to go tacky. If I was to put my Pearlex on it right now, it would stick everywhere I want. But as the glue dries, it would very much give me the same scenario I have here. It would wipe right off. I mean, it's literally turning into a powder. This is a two-way glue and it needs to go tacky because it acts very much like that bind. Oh, see, look at that. Wow, big difference. Hello. Acts very much like that binder. It needs to be tacky before we add any pearl to it. Now, I'm gonna grab my little brush, and this is a Ranger brush, and maybe I start with start with a little bit of this color. Oh no, maybe we'll start with that color. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm just going to pick a little bit of it up. And I'm going to tap it down. And because that glue is tacky, I'm just going to tack it down. Tap, tap, tap. Just towards the tops of all of them. Tap, tap, tap. So I don't have to use any gum Arabic at all because I'm using glue. And then maybe we do Maybe we do the blue, maybe we do a little gold. Just tap, tap, tap. Oh, that was a lot. And then maybe we do a little bit of the blue. Try to use less. And I'm blending them into each other. And just kind of letting it do its thing. And where that glue is, it's holding my Pearlex. And I don't need to use my gum Arabic because the glue is acting as my binder. And then maybe a little bit of green. This is a happy green. So everything is not made the same. Your Ghirardelli chocolate is going to be better. Your Ghirardelli chocolate Easter bunny is going to be better chocolate than the chocolate at the dollar store. It's all chocolate, but one is definitely better than the other. Then I can take my big brush 
and I can just dust it. And I've got the most beautiful image. But I didn't use gum Arabic. No, I used my Essentials glue pad, which held it in place and set it so it doesn't wipe off. Now, we have this one. It's been sitting there for a little while, right? Yep, it's been sitting there for a little while. Let's see what this color is, and let's see what that color is, and let's see what that color is. So I'm going to use these three. Ooh, pretty. And again, the colors I'm using today are out of the calligraphy set. That's the set that gives you several colors, some gum Arabic, and I think it's the least expensive out of all the kits. Now, you don't have to buy a kit. You can certainly get it open stock. You can choose your colors as you want, or you start with a kit and then add colors as you grow into it, but it's so easy to use. When you have that Essentials glue pad, it just makes everything easy. But if I wanted to paint with it, I would need to add gum Arabic. Oh, too much. And then maybe a little green. And then I can just take it and with my little, with my inexpensive dollar store makeup brush, dust it. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so easy to do. It looks amazing on black, just like our just like our inexpensive Hero Pearls look amazing on black. Let's try another one and I'm going to keep with the black for just a little bit. So I'm going to bring out the poppies. And this one where it's kind of nice because you're going to be able to see where that glue is so that you can go in there and be very specific about where you put where you put your color. Am I dry yet? I'm pretty dry. All right, so I'm going to glue up my I'm going to glue up my poppies. I might put a little bit of glue, not much. And then I can give it a back massage or stamp down into it, up to me, whichever's easiest for you. I'm just trying to transfer that glue. Oh, 
man, I had some, some, I had some green in there. Well, we're just going to let it be. We're going to let it be and I'm going to do it again. I wonder where that green came from. My hands. <laughs> so I didn't add any more glue. I'm just going to re-ink it up with my glue. Put another piece of black down. And give it a whirl. That looks pretty good. So you can see the first one is more glossy because it had more glue. It'll take a little bit longer for it to go tacky. I'm going to put those to the side. I'm going to change my stamp. I don't think we've used... Which one haven't we used? Uh, we used this one. I'm going to do this one again. And I'm going to do it in white and in black. little harder to see my image than on the black but I can see that it's there hopefully I have enough glue now I'm going to do it on the black I haven't added more glue we're just going to see if I've got enough no gum Arabic yet. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I've got four to play with. Now I may come back to this white one. And I might add... that really deep, rich gold to it. And because it's a little harder for me to see, I think I'm just going to do the whole thing. And this gold. And I'm just going to dust it around. And you can start to see the image coming up. Can you see the image coming up? So as I dust it, I can start to see that image coming up. Less is more because you can always add. So I'm pulling it from other places. And can you see how as I'm dusting it around, the image is coming up. As I'm dusting it around, 
where there's glue, the image is making an appearance. And I want to put enough down so that it's not tacky anymore. I've covered all my areas. And then I can go in and give a good wipe down. And look at how beautiful that is. It's absolutely gorgeous. And because it's done with the glue, it's set. Right? Now I could go in and I could take one of my colors and a little bit of blue. And a little bit of gum Arabic. And some water. This time I am going to need a pointy paintbrush. Make my paint. And because it's got that gum Arabic, I don't have to worry, but I could go in. and then paint. Fill in all my spaces and now I'm painting with it. Then to paint with it, what do you need? You need gum Arabic. I told you I got a lot going on. I could do this whole picture plus another one with the, what I've got going on there. You need that gum Arabic. I used the glue on the stamp to get my image down. And then the Perlex with the gum Arabic to be able to go in and paint with it. Now I could add more blue and make it more pasty if I wanted. But because I'm using solid pigment, I'm not diluting my colors. And it's just this easy to use. I've got a lot here. I could have used a third of the powder that I used. And as it dries, the metallic is going to come up.
so that it will all be metallic. How about I use a, just a little bit? Just a little bit, Stacy. <laughs> just a little bit. I gotta live by my own rule. Less is more. Just so I put a little bit of my pigment, a little bit of gum arabic, little bit of water, mix it together to make my paint. Maybe with a little bit of green. Just a little bit. And a little bit of gum Arabic. Just a little bit of water. Make my paint. I got a little red in there. Just add a little green to the background. Just a little bit of green. And you can just go in there and paint away. But remember, oh, I got a lot here. Okay, let it be. Can't cry over spilled milk. Remember, I still have these that I haven't done. This was the first one with the green in it. And now, because it is on black, I can see where everything is. I do have an option to be very specific about where I put my color. So you need to have a dry brush, not wet. You need a dry brush. Maybe I go in there with a little bit of the gold.
So I can see exactly where I'm putting things. Now I can come back in with my green. I can see where I'm putting things because it's on the black. A little easier to see than on the white. So now I can come back. And I can take my green. And because I'm using the glue, I don't need the gum Arabic. And I can see I'm painting with powder. And it kind of looks like a hot mess until I start to kind of move it around and have it fill in all those spaces. And anywhere there's glue, it's going to hold to. But I was very specific about where I put my, my color and where I put my green. Good dusting. And there you go. So easy to do. So pretty. So simple. So I could come in, maybe with a little bit of blue. And just kind of maybe tap around the tops. Just kind of tap around the tops. And then come in with that gold. That's, oh, maybe. Oh, let's see what this color is. fill in Ooh, that I can move everywhere. I've got tons. And then I can come in a little bit of green. because I can see where it is my lines are. If I can get close enough. I can see where my lines are telling me that that's where I can add my green. Just kind of walk it all the way up, all the way down. And can you see it holding on? I 
And then I can take my big old fluff brush and clean it up. What do we think? Pretty darn simple, isn't it? And I still have this one. It's been sitting. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at the difference, pending on the colors that you use. Big difference. Or we can paint with it if it makes our heart happy. Pearlex is amazing, but if you're not ready for Pearl, uh, Pearlex is really amazing. I mean, it's beautiful. But if you want to start with just the, the, the Hero Pearls, look at what you can do with that too. They're beautiful. I've got this one. I can see, I can see my colors. I can see my lines. Can you see my lines with me? So I know that I can go in I know I can go in and kind of dust this. Just dust this here and a little bit there. That's probably way too much. And then I think I'm going to come back. With that blue. And I'm going to dust the tops of the flowers that I didn't do. And then I think I'm going to come back with my green, kind of a hot mess. A little bit of green here and a little bit of green there. And grab my brush. able to add just a little bit more green over here. So where it's still sticky I can add more color. Ooh. 
What do you think? Perlex is amazing. It's amazing because of the level of pigment you get in those tiny little jars. They just last and last and last and it takes our black paper and it makes our black paper new again. Now if you want to paint, you add your gum arabic. You want to mix it with water and paint, you add your gum arabic. That way it doesn't move. You want to dust like I did, here you use your essentials glue pad. No gum arabic needed. It's all about what works best for you or what project are you doing in the moment. The idea is that you have options. And maybe, maybe you're all the way back here going, oh, those were the ones I love, love, loved. Oh my gosh, that was so easy, Stacy. You took some ink, you put it on the stamp, you mixed it, kind of mixed them together, started with your lightest color, and beautiful. Or maybe you were like, you know, I really do like the metallic look. And I, I'd like to try it, but I'm just not sure yet. So you can get the pearls to do this. Or maybe you're all about the Pearl X and you're like, oh my goodness, sign me up because it's beautiful. And when it's dry, it's dry. And this was all done using something as easy and as simple as an essentials glue pad. It makes your heart happy. Comes like this. Comes dry. When you open it up, there's going to be nothing on that pad. Do not empty this whole thing. You only use as much as you need for the project that you're doing. So remember, anytime you're going to get your Pearl X wet, gum arabic is your friend and it just takes a little just a little to mix in with it and i want to say there's 60 colors of pearl x oh my gosh you could go hog wild crazy so i've given you three different ways to play with the beautiful background stamps from Creative Expressions. Three different ways to play with these beautiful stamps from Creative Expressions. Yes, there's an I want it all. Yep, there sure is. Or you can buy them open stock, but you had your choice of which made your heart happiest. Or maybe today it's this, and tomorrow it's that and the next day it's one of these oh they're dreamy aren't they so i have oodles of samples to show you oodles of samples so what's on sale this week, it is all about the Essentials Glue Pad is on sale. The little fluff brush from Ranger is on sale. The pearls from Hero Arts is on sale. There are five colors. That's where the um, sale is going to be on the I Want It All. Otherwise, they're I think they're just regular price. I have to look. So the fluff brush, the, the Essentials Glue Pad, the pearls absolutely those are all important to you the 
Pearl X, whether you get it in the kit, and I played with the, uh, the, the calligraphy kit. The only color that did not come in the calligraphy kit was the green. Other than that, the calligraphy kit gets you some gum arabic. It gets you fabulous colors to play with. The only thing you're missing is the green. But there are three other kits for you. So kit number one has all different colors. And kit number two has all different colors. And kit number three. But then you have all the open stock available to you as well. Then I have the paper from Sizzix. Who knew? So all smooth. That's all I used today was the white and the black. I could have used the cream. It would have been pretty on the cream. The paper from Sizzix is on sale. All part of the YouTube yummies. So whether you just need another essentials glue pad or you loved all four of the beautiful stamps from Creative Expressions. And they are beautiful, and they are red rubber, and they are quality. Just like the inks, I'm not gonna do the inks on sale this week because they've been on sale quite a bit. The inks are also from Jacquard. They're my brand. They're more of a, uh, well, they are a premium dye-based ink, that is for sure and they blend like a dream, oh my gosh. And the inks are what we use to do these. You can try it with the inks you already have, it's up to you. But I'm gonna hold off on putting the inks on sale this week because they've been on sale for quite a bit. So I think we're gonna, we'll take them off and they'll just be normal price and that way you can really focus on getting things like the Pearl X. Amazing, amazing. So I have got oodles and I do mean oodles of samples to show you. And then once we're done with the live chat today, I go back to the store. I have to tape the next ta uh, Take Two Tuesday for you before I leave for Lake Forest for my two hour class. Look at, isn't this beautiful? All embossed. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And here we have it in different colors. Put the hole so you can have your sentiment. Die cut in an aperture with just a circle. They're so pretty. These stamps are absolutely gorgeous. And what you can do with them in just a matter of minutes is amazing. These were done by Christine Smith. Hello, Christine Smith, how you doing? She's on the live chat sometimes. The SMS girls made quite, the SMS girls made most of these and Christine helped. She sent hers on over. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. It winks at you. Look at how beautiful is this. Oh, happy together. I love that. And the colors are dreamy. Look at this bookmark. Honorary SMS girl Yvette made this bookmark. Isn't that beautiful? Who wouldn't love to have that as a bookmark? Love that. And Christine made this one so pretty. And Honorary SMS Girl Yvette did this one. Yeah, 
and honorary SMS girl Mary oh Mary this is beautiful look at that beautiful Mary and this one is so soft and so elegant oh Patty this is stunning honorary SMS girl Patty this is so pretty oh okay look at the contrast so this one was done by Claire, SMS girl Claire, and this one was done by honorary SMS girl Patty. Same stamp, two different looks. From the white and the black, same stamp. Both gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Then I have honorary SMS girl Mary C, and she went in there and she was very specific about where she put that Pearl X. Look at that. And she did it on this teal paper. Isn't that beautiful? And here, this one was just done with inks. Yum. Oh, and this one's beautiful too. Who did this one? Gail, Gail, this is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. Honorary SMS girl Gail, this is beautiful. And here we have one just painted in, just stamped and colored. And this one's Claire. She made that happy, didn't she? And another one from Christine. And then we move to, the, I have more, trust me. Honoré SMS girl Yvette did this one. And then we have Patty. The colors are so rich. And then Mary, honorary SMS girl Mary. This is beautiful, Mary. Look at how lovely these are, even on the white. down. Christine did this one. So soft and so elegant. So they used the paper, the paper, and then they did the uh, the Pearl X right on top of the paper with the stamp. So the birds came from the paper. Oh, Mary, this is beautiful. That was a clever way to take a pattern piece of paper and incorporate it. Love it. Oh, and then look at how pretty is that. That's done with ink and glitters. Oh, so pretty. Happy birthday. And this is by Christine. Love this. She did emboss, it feels like embossing powder and then inked over the top of it and did a resist. Some Patty did here. On oh, the next one, super pretty too. Yvette. That's so beautiful. Told you we had a ton of samples. The girls had a fun time doing these. Done on white. Gail, that's beautiful. I love this on the white. Claire. Claire, that's beautiful. The Pearl X on the white, that's just lovely. And then Patty, again, on the white. They had an amazing time playing. And this is Christine. How beautiful is this? Oh, and I think the next one is Christine as well. 
Wow, wow, wow. It's a good day to have a good day, Katie. Oh, so pretty and serene. Oh my gosh, and then the next one is just as beautiful. Oh, Claire, stunning. All right, I'm almost to the end. Here we have Gail. Look at how Gail did this. Look at how pretty is that. And then inked with Christine. And then Catherine. And Catherine just took a little pin and just kind of drew right around them. So, we did a lot. We had fun. We played. We learned. We got to understand the difference of why Perlex is the way it is and how it works and why it's such an amazing value because it's all pigment and not pre-cut with the gum arabic and you saw how simple it was to use the hero arts the hero arts pearls now i'm using those hero arts pearls again just briefly in i think the make it monday <laughs> which I've already taped and I said, I think I'm using these for a YouTube. Well, this was the YouTube I'm using them for. So <laughs> there's a chance to get them on Monday, but there's a chance to get them now too. I think that Creative Expressions did a beautiful job with those stamps and they are so easy to use and you can get so many different cards and embellishments from them because they, they don't, they don't, they're not theme specific. They can be everything from a, just a note and a happy birthday to a with sympathy to a congratulations and, and everything in between. And that's really value where you have something that isn't anything. It's not something until you make it something. So I hope you had a great time. All of this product is under our YouTube Yummies category and Wow. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to call it done for today. I'm going to go head over to the shop. Now that we're done live chatting, I'm going to film our next take two Tuesday, which will be, well, that will be after Monday. My next thing coming up will be make it Monday. I will see you next time, Monday at 5 p.m. Sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, where I have, I have a hundred and $1 and 99 cents for just $19 and 99 cents. And then after that, I'll see you Tuesday for my take two Tuesday videos featuring my new collection from Sizzix and Jacquard and maybe a sneak peek of something coming very soon. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you later and thanks for being here today. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.